Hello, friends. So it's a rainy Wednesday afternoon here in uh, Bainbridge Island, and there's a bunch of yard work, tree work, stuff getting cut down outside. I'm supposed to be doing some scoring right now, but it's a little noisy for the acoustic instruments that I need to be recording. So here comes an update on what's going on with me. Uh, first of all, I am getting to hang out with some really cool gear that's new to me. This is an Island Anzol, I believe that's how you pronounce it, uh, from Island Instrument Manufacturer Nick DeLille in um, Montreal sent this over for me to check out and it is super cool. It's kind of loosely telly-ish as you can tell from the pickup compliment but it's just a really different thing and how awesome is this paint job. So I'm enjoying playing that and in the studio I also have this Benson Vincent which is I believe one of his newest amp models, and it's kind of like if you took a Benson Vinny and a Benson Chimera and jammed them into one head together. So it's almost like a channel switching amp, you'll notice. This is the clean side, just the Chimera side. And then you can add the Vinny in front of that. So it's literally like plugging a one watt single-ended amp into a 30 watt EL-34 Monster Amp. Really cool. So I'm enjoying playing through that. I love Chris, but I gotta say I'm a little frustrated that he waited for this long to come out with this amp because it's basically the rig that I have in separate pieces. Uh, with my Dizzy Bird and Chimera and Cabinet, and he's put it in this great one head thing. So it also has an effects loop. Uh, you're hearing a Nunaber wet reverb in the effects loop. So I'm currently working on some soundtrack stuff for my good friends Ashley and Gabe Rodriguez. Uh, they have a outdoor cooking show, I guess you could call it. It's sort of an adventure cooking show that's really beautiful, and they did some episodes in Alaska, some composing music for that right now. Um, this last Sunday, I ran a marathon, which was really awesome. <laughs> uh, it's, this year, I, I just really got the running bug and got excited about doing some things that I found uh, challenging almost to the point of being impossible. Uh, it, I, I, I practiced, I trained for it for about four months, real intensely. I got a coach who could guide me because I've never been athletic in my entire life. And I did it, I finished. I was pretty slow, all things considered, but it, it gave me the inspiration. I wanna carry on, do it again, and uh, I think it's one of the first things in my life other than playing music and my family that I've been so intensely interested in that has just required me to show up on a regular basis in order to make progress. Uh, it's a completely extracurricular thing, but I think the benefits for my mental well-being and how I feel physically have just been uh, off the charts for me. So I got really inspired by a book called Born to Run, which I'd recommend everybody check out. It's just a good read. And um, yeah, that's been pretty incredible for me. Here in the next few months, I'm gonna be doing some deeper educational content. There's a couple of topics that I've been exploring and thinking about, and I've touched on multiple things on my free YouTube content uh, but I think I want to get into a deeper discussion about how to listen, how we learn to listen while we're playing an instrument, particularly the electric guitar. That's my realm of expertise, so that's what I'm going to talk about. But I think it's very easy to play without actually hearing the sound that you're making. And it's a 
maybe a place of dissatisfaction for a lot of players. They're not getting the sounds that they want, they're not getting the feeling that they want out of uh, their instruments and what they have. And there's a ton of information out there about specific pieces of gear, but I'd like to talk more about how to interact with, interface with, understand, get what you want out of any amp or pedal or guitar that you're encountering. So I'm going to be do, doing kind of a deeper dive on that in the next few months uh, and maybe offering that up as an e-course of some kind. Uh, I'm doing some research right now, so I put this out there on Instagram. I'm going to put it out there here. If you have any interest in this topic, if you've gotten something from my free content that's been meaningful to you or helpful to you, I'd love to talk to you about that and just have like a... 15, 20 minute FaceTime or Skype chat. Uh, and in return, you can ask me anything that you want to ask me kind of uh, within the realm of reasonableness and uh, as long as it's not gross. And we can just hang out together through technology a little bit and I can learn some more about what would better serve you in the process. So that's the big update from here. Uh, I'm gonna keep playing this guitar until the tree limbs stop falling, and uh, I'll see you soon. Thanks. Yeah.